Welcome back to Iron Fury Play Sonic Classic Heroes 2. I'm Dave, and of course, I'm here with Travis. And today, we are in Aquatic Ruin Zone. I can't not feel that this is one of those places that Knuckles can break. Also... Oh, yes, he can. Yeah. Tails can, too, because, um... Nah. <laughs> although, although the name of the zone is Aquatic Ruin Zone, uh, there's essentially two paths. You have the top path, which sees no water, and then you have, of course, the bottom path, which is all water. Yeah. And if you're smart, you will stick to the top path, because water and Sonic do not mix. Yeah. And speaking- that also reminds me, those little robot grounders, they kind of remind me of that- of the one from the, uh, animated series, you know, grounders. Well, that's because right? he was supposed to. He, that's- that's the point. He- that- they're called grounders. Cool. But Tails just- look, Tails just blew this level the fuck away. Oh, yeah? Because, if I recall this... correctly, didn't Tails, like, not have the ability to fly in the original Sonic 2? I mean, not like that, anyways. Uh, n he did not fly in Sonic 2. Not like that, no. Um, also, for the second half, I decided to try and show a bit of the underwater. Yeah. Because, uh, this is the last time in Sonic 2 we will see it. Yeah. Which, uh, praise be to the makers that they actually gave us this mercy. Yeah. Because Labyrinth Zone in Sonic 1 was hell. Ugh. Now, I guess I should explain this mechanic. You can see this counter. They actually, they got rid of the, uh, the little countdown song in this ROM hack. Good. The Nightmare Fuel. Oh, and I died. Ooh. That's the downside to not having that song. Is that you lose that uh, audio sound cue to, you know, get one of those bubbles. And I'm sure the fact anyway, that the guy- And I'm sure the fact that when you jump, that they all tend to jump and can probably grab the bubble from you probably doesn't help either. It does not help. Yeah. Anyway, That's I probably. showed the underwater. Now we're breaking this level because, quite frankly, Aquatic Ruin Zone is one of the less interesting levels in the game, if I'm being honest. Um... It's not to say it's a bad level by any by any means, but it's just, um, yeah. compared to everything else, it's just kind of bland. I mean, something I do like about this game over, like, say, Sonic 3 and Knuckles and some of the others is it definitely has some of the most memorable music. Yes, actually, I'm, I'm happy you brought that up because now I can transition into some shilling. Uh, <laughs> over on the Superplex Bros website, I actually did a, a, a piece on the soundtrack to this game. Uh, it was the second ever Kick Out the Jams. And now we have this Eggman boss fight where he makes these totem poles, and we have to jump on the little arrows and hit him. Uh, Tails breaks this, but for the sake of not overly breaking this, I am going to play as Knuckles, who cannot climb on these, Yeah. so it's not broken. But at the same time, uh, this boss fight is still pathetic. Yeah. I mean, I'm still taking damage because of the arrows. Uh, that's just me not paying attention. But this is still insanely easy. I mean, not much to say, just, you know, keep going through the motions until he's dead. Or defeated. Yeah, pretty much. Ever. Once you get him in a pattern, that's pretty much it. However, now we are going on to one of the more memorable stages of the game after this. We will be going to Casino Night Zone. Ooh, love that one. Yeah, it's considered a classic. Yeah. Also, um, something you may have noticed, a little bit of a graphical change in this ROM hack. Uh... On the zone screens, you can actually th see they put little, like, symbols in the background to represent the stages. Oh, wow. Cool. A little attention to detail there. Classic. Anyway, this is Casino Night Zone. You guys know the drill here. It's the gambling stage. Yeah. And it set the bar, no pun intended, <laughs> for the gambling stages. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Probably my overall favorite stage. I'm trying to think. <sighs> Probably the later stages, ironically. Like, uh, that, I think it's that one hill zone with the lava and stuff. Yeah, hilltop zone. Yeah, that's Which one. is the level after this. Oh, wow. Um, and, of course, that one mystic cave night zone, which has probably some of the most uh, cherished music in the game. Well, along with the uh, second stages. I mean, yeah. Uh, Casino Night Zone is my favorite zone to play, but Mystic Cave Zone has my favorite music in the game. Oh, cool. Same here, more or less. Um, I love playing this stage, because, I mean, it's gambling. It's fun. <laughs> The, like, normally in Sonic, the whole idea is to... Oh, also, look at this. Look at Knuckles just breaking Oh, everything. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, the whole point of, of Sonic in general is to speed through these stages and uh, generally go through them as fast as you can. But I feel like Casino Night Zone, even though it technically slows the game down for doing this, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's like a relaxing kind of thing where you can just kind of have fun with it. I mean, I've actually, when playing this, yes, I actually have played this game. Well, not the Lomhack Mind. Uh, I've actually, uh, completely... Most people... 
most people have played the original. It's, well, you don't have to feel alone in that. <laughs> yeah, like I've actually uh, hit the 10-minute time limit because I was so busy in those slots. It's just that much is fun. Yeah, um, I never come close to that in any given stage in this game. Uh, that's more so a Sonic 3 and Knuckles Also, thing. something else to notice, I like how they gave that, uh, bit with Sonic, like, that weird running sprite animation that it just showed. I thought that was a pretty yeah, interesting touch. That's the peel-out animation. Ah, uh, I wonder what that was called. Hey, speaking of setting the bar. hey -o. <laughs> And this is where I decided to take a few minutes and give my gambling addiction some, uh, some exposure. Yep. Oh! God, they always try to go for Tails to... Oh, God. They definitely really go for it. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, well. Yes, and the others can gamble in your place as well. And they will learn rings. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, come on now. You gotta give me something. I need... I Come on, Papa needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> come on! I mean, ah. yeah, better than nothing, I guess, but, uh, you know... Ah. Hey, there we go. I can't have Come you. on, give me. Oh, no, 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 no. God oh. damn you, no. Son of a no. bitch. God damn it. Curse has. Come on, Knuckles. Make us our money back. New. Worthless bastard. Come on, bar ring. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why you no give jackpot? Oh, jackpot, oh. jackpot. Come on, bar, oh. bar. Yeah! Yeah, I'll take that. That's pretty sweet. Basically got our money back, yeah. so let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Might as well pull while we're still ahead. And I just ran right through that enemy uh, glitch, if there ever was one. Yeah. That is one thing about ROM hacks compared to, say, original versions. More often than not, they tend to be a bit glitchy at times, but, you know. That's... Yeah, they, they do. I'm, I'm testing my luck here. I, I know I shouldn't. I know I should. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, I guess I'm not going that way. <laughs> well, I guess. I mean, there's only so many things you can break, it seems. Whew. Yeah, and uh, look at that. Just fly right over the rest of the stage. <laughs> Yay, and a continue. I forget, so how often is it you get a continue? Like, how many points do you need, or what is it? 50 rings. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, first I thought it was based on the uh, score you have. I mean, I guess I'm thinking of Sonic 3 or something. I I don't know. Uh, no, I, I think it, I, I, I'm sure it's 50 rings in Sonic 2. Uh, I know in Sonic 1, it was 50 rings in the bonus stages. Yeah, I think that's... Actually, I think that's what it was maybe in, like, uh, Sonic 3 as well. I, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's still 50 rings in Sonic 3. I mean, something but, that uh, I do like in, like, the original Sonic games over, say, Freedom Planet, just by my own experience, is the levels and stuff tend to be a lot shorter, more elegantly designed, less cluttered, and less annoyingly challenging, but, you know, that's just me. Well, the difference is that's the whole gimmick of Sonic, is that you're supposed to be fast. Yeah. So, they encourage you to speed through the levels as fast as you can. However, I think um, it was better about this in Sonic 2 than Sonic 1 or Sonic 3, for that matter. Oh, wow. But, um... Sonic 1 and Sonic 3, despite the fact that they encourage you to run fast, they put a lot of obstacles in yeah. that make you wait. Mm -hmm. Sonic 2 has that too, but I don't think it's as bad about that as yeah. it is in the I other I mean, games. in retrospect, I'd have to say Sonic 2 was more elegantly designed, even if I'm, you know, too bit of a noob to uh, have gotten through it, compared to, like, say, Sonic 3. I, the... Sonic 3's biggest claim to fame is just how massive it is compared to Sonic 2 and Sonic 1. Um, obviously, the full game is meant to be Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah. So, I mean, so like that was something that blew me have... away to find out was that apparently, uh, if the game, if the six stages you get for Sonic 3 feel a bit anemic or toothless or what have you, it's mainly because they were originally supposed to be, like, one game combined with Sonic and Knuckles, which would also explain why I thought the uh, Sonic and Knuckles stages were ramping up in difficulty way too fast. Well, that's exactly what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be the continuation. Uh, but because of the memory issues, they couldn't do it. Yeah, that would do it. And yeah, so they will, ended up making the double cart. Yeah, and I will admit that yeah, Sonic uh, Two definitely had probably some of the best music. There the we go, some rings. Hey. 
But yeah, definitely Sonic 2 is probably, if I'd have to call them the winners in terms of music, since the soundtrack for Sonic 3 is a little bit bland, you know? Well, the, um, well, the cool thing about, uh, Sonic 3's music, or Sonic, well, uh, Sonic 2, the composer, whose name I forget right now, I should, but yeah. I, you know what, I have one up, let me look, because I have the soundtrack. Uh, I'd be hard pressed if you didn't, honestly. I, the soundtrack was made by, and I'm gonna explain this boss as soon as I get this. Um, fuck, come on, come on. Masato Nakamura. Masato Nakamura did the soundtrack. Uh, he was a professional bass player. Oh, wow. In, in a band called, uh, I think they were called Dreams Come True. Uh, and they, the band actually wrote the soundtrack for this game and the first game. Cool. And you can definitely tell uh, his bass influence is pronounced heavily in this game soundtrack. Thank you. But, uh, anyway, as far as this boss goes, uh, you have these, uh, the, obviously, the, the, the freaking pinball levers. Uh, you're, you're supposed to bounce yourself up to hit him as he drops the spike balls. But, uh, you can also just, uh, do the spin dash to slide up the wall and hit him that yeah, way. Yeah, or you can use Knuckles to climb on the walls, glide into him, and, and break, break him. him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, with that, that is the end of Casino Night Zone. And next time, we will do Hilltop Zone and Mystic Cave Zone. So until then, take care. <laughs>